the spin pass, you know, behind the back, the, the corner three spin. He can spin, you know, at, in the lane at the rim. He's just a unique player. Hey, JB, kind of going off of Rick's question here, not not just Devontae's role off the bench, but is this the role that you envision for him kind of within the offensive system since you guys have added LaMelo, maybe taking the ball out of his hands a little bit more and just, you know, playing with the spacing within your system? Well, I think he's one of the guys, you know, Richie, that can play on the ball and off the ball. I think as we're building this this system, we have multiple guys that can do what he's doing. You know, Tay's a guy that can play on the ball, off the ball. Malik, Terry, Mello, Gordon, and Tay's just another one of them. But, you know, it just it just adds to the depth of our playmaking and shot making. And, and Tay's a big piece of that. You felt it tonight. He, he can be on the ball or he's spaced with Mello creating, getting downhill. And Tay's going to do it for him as well. You know, Tay's going to get downhill and create for Mello. And we saw Mello knock down some catch and shoot corner threes, which we haven't seen a whole lot, you know, but it's just a product of our offense and how we're doing it. To me, it's just, you know, we just got more depth at that playmaking and shot making now with Tay back. James Herbert. Hey, I'm guessing you haven't drilled the pump fake spin corner three. Uh, when LaMelo makes a move like that, what, what goes through your mind? Go strong line. I'm not. I'm not sure at times. I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, you know, we don't teach that one in our program. <laughs> I don't know where he learned it from, but if it goes in, I just clap my hands and I, I say, you know, let's go play some good defense. But um, he makes a number. You know, James, you've been watching it for a while now. I mean, he makes a number of these plays. You know, it's. The spin, pass, you know, behind the back, the, the corner three spin. He can spin, you know, at, in the lane at the rim. He's just a unique player. You know, he's very, very unique. But um, I just, I love his maturity, his growth. You know, we had 30 assists tonight. The ball was moving. You know, I don't know if, you, if the group on here felt it, but the ball was constantly moving tonight. And it started with Melo, you know, coming out the gate, kick aheads, drive kick, swing. He was a participant in that. He was a recipient of, his, of it as well in the corners. So um, uh, I thought he was fantastic tonight. The entire group, you know, 30 assists, but the ball was moving. And we probably left a number on the table as well. We missed a number of open threes that we typically make, but uh, I thought he was fantastic tonight. I know you were really looking forward to having fans back. Um, do you think that had something to do with the energy you guys came out with early on in the first quarter? No question. No question. Our guys felt it. I mean, you could feel it from uh, the intros. Our guys were upbeat. Even Gordon, even Gordon's bounce. When he got to the rim and dunked that one, I said, all right, the fans must be back now. <laughs> um, so it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was like NBA basketball is back. That's what it felt like tonight. Um, for me, but mostly for, for my guys, our players were – uh, they felt it and they and they played off of it. I think that the start to the game, 24 to four, I think was the start, you know, or something like that. And uh, it's a credit to the energy the fans brought, but more the focus our guys had as well.